All new at 10, four and a half million dollars now being invested to research valley fever. It's caused by a fungus found in desert soils, but not much is known about how it grows and spreads. But as ABC 15's Christine Stanwood explains, those questions could soon have answers. Doctors tell me that valley fever picks up in these really warm, dry months, especially in these big empty lots that you see behind me where dust can get kicked up. Health officials say that it is an underrated hazard. The Arizona Board of Regents putting $4.5 million the next three years towards research on valley fever. That money from a sales tax program set in 2001. Local family physician Dr. Andrew Carroll says more information on the infectious disease is needed. It's great to hear that we're getting research dollars because I think we could know more and, and, and actually get better testing, hopefully point of care testing at a doctor's office to help us diagnose it quicker um, and then better treatments. We don't have a whole lot of treatments for it and I like to see some uh, better options. The Board of Regents says with the millions, technologies created at ASU will be tested to suppress dust and valley fever in fallow fields. Researchers will work with state health officials trying to pinpoint valley fever hotspots. We definitely see more patients who are from our the outskirts of the city. So we see folks from Queen Creek, Santan Valley, Maricopa, and, and some of the new developments out in East Mesa. Um, and that's because a lot of dirt is being kicked up by construction. State health leaders say valley fever is a growing issue and will continue with increased water restrictions anticipated as a result of the drought. This season, like other seasons, is always uh, a potentially serious health issue. It's estimated that approximately 80 percent of us who live in Phoenix and Tucson have gotten valley fever in the past. And according to the Arizona Department of Health Services, more than 11,000 Arizonans caught valley fever in 2021. Reporting in Phoenix, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.